time's been a little against me of late uh, with the amount of work on um, that I'm trying to get out the door and so on. So I'm afraid the videos have taken a bit of a back step uh, for that. Um, today I intend to do this quease or thigh plate um, for a set of legs that I'm working on. I won't have time to do a talking film or instructional video rather. Um, so I'm going to do another uh, sped along movie. Um, so just sort of watch me doing it in real time and then speed the film along. Um, but I thought I'd spend a few minutes just talking about what I'm looking to achieve uh, with the work. When you see a uh, thigh plate um, side on, they're not flat. They were very, I, I, actually, I don't think there is a single one that is a flat line. I shall exaggerate this a bit, but what they tend to do is they come across to take in the belly of the muscle. Then they have a recess to take the operation of the lane properly. And then they kick out like a lane uh, at the bottom. And then the next lane would sit on top there as you go down into the polling. So what we've got to do is we've got to get that belly in, that dip in, and that little kick out into this plate. And the simplest way of doing that is to knock that shape in first gently and this one down the bottom here for the lane which will cause that to move and then when you do your movement you'll see me doing it in the video when you do a lot of the movement you do it in this area and what I mean by that movement is when you start to try and curve the plate round um, by doing that there that'll recess that and you'll end up with that shape often a little over exaggerated um, obviously you have to check your period check which one you're making and um, see how much movement it has. Some of them is very subtle and they almost look flat and if you take a close look you can see the armourer has put in that curvature. Um, these ones will be somewhere in the middle, not over exaggerated, not too small, you'll be able to see it. Um, I probably just prefer that look and it fits well with a lot of the um, 14th century stuff that you see. Uh, the later 14th century stuff where it's got a lot of human curvature to it. So that's what I'm going to go for and that's what I'm going to stick with. So you'll see me knock that down, knock that, and then start to bend it there um, uh, using this area to sort of put that curve, back curve, back in. So uh, we'll crack on and hopefully um, in about 30-40 minutes we should have a plate roughed out.
So about 30 minutes or so there to um, rough out the quease plate. Now there's a lot of work to be done to this to get it properly attached uh, to the polling, but we can start to see some of the points I was making. This needs a bit of tidying up, but you can see where this recess, this recess is here now. It's going to be a bit of trimming coming off of here. Where that recess is, it accepts the lane, which means you can stand up straight. You're not with your legs bent all the time. In fact, you can over flex it and um, step into your knee a little bit. Uh, needs a bit of work. It wants to sit here, but I need it to sit there. But you can see how you end up gradually uh, getting that shape that we're after. A little bit of tidying up to be done yet. It's worth mentioning as well, this section here, that's going to be kicked over. You see where we did that first bit of raising or, or dishing, whatever you want to call it, from the back here. Just want to kick this little lip over a touch and it will resemble the movement then of the lame, which is that way. So you'll actually end up with an articulating crease that will move properly and be closed throughout the movement uh, and really give you that extra uh, range that you need in the knee movement there. So not too difficult, a little bit of truing up to be done. But you can see to rough out these plates isn't that difficult. Um, you know, just give it a go. Uh, it might take you a bit longer. You might kick it out of the park and get it right first time. It's um, not too hard to do. You can see how making one of these then adds some shape to your armour rather than these um, awful bent bits of tube um, or an armour shaped object and a bit of armour. But there we go. Relatively straightforward and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.